Hello writers, here we are in the first week of NaNoWriMo 2022. For me this is my fourth NaNoWriMo and I've enjoyed the process so far, albeit after just a few days, but I want to talk about something which is really critical. As writers we are by and large introverted in our characters. All of a sudden this month we are supposed to say how many words we're writing every day, share that with an anonymous world who don't know who we are on the NaNoWriMo website, give ourselves perhaps a nickname or a moniker and a project name and title for the NaNoWriMo website and write our way into success as we progress through the calendar from starting out this week, moving through to the end of the first week and then into the second week and on and on. It is a marathon. I like long distance walking I'm no good at running. I can make my way round a track, I can follow a five mile or a ten mile footpath and I have no trouble with that. It's an easy exercise and I enjoy it. But the idea of sprinting every day for a whole month, and that's what NaNoWriMo really is, I don't think I'm ready for that this year. What I'm not going to do this year is put myself under such pressure that I have to do anything which causes me to feel stressful or worried or overwhelmed by the workload. I am increasingly becoming used to non-digital ways of tracking and monitoring my writing with a simple note in my journal and a reminder of the things which I can look at and tackle tomorrow if I feel up to it. The prompt for me to record this video today was when I saw on the free write website the idea that they are inviting people to submit their word count every day on what is being called a leaderboard. I know that's a natural thing for people who want to win and to be successful at their writing project in NaNoWriMo but I've always found the whole win NaNoWriMo slightly awkward. I'm using one of the planners from Racon.com, the people who have both a planning tool but also a story development and character creation workbook which is very useful but the idea of a leaderboard on the free write website really struck a chord with me as something I don't want to be involved in but I think if we place self-care at the center of everything we do in NaNoWriMo you're going to be successful you're going to win with an outcome that you are happy with and your own sense of well-being will be reinforced by keeping self-care in the middle and as the point of focus for everything that you do. How can we protect ourselves during this busy month where there is the potential for great stress as we push towards a word count that doesn't necessarily mean anything because 50,000 words isn't really the length of a decent story. 50,000 words is a yardstick for output. It could be somewhat less, it could be significantly more for the book manuscript in its final version, maybe after a second or a third edit and redrafting. Use November as a great way to push your words forward and to take you closer to publication goals and to seeing your book in print or in digital format as a downloadable product that people can read and enjoy and be really thankful for. Thousands of writers around the globe right now are sitting down thinking, well, I'm halfway through week one, a am I happy with my outcome, am I worried about my approach so far after these first three or four days? The main thing I would suggest that you and I do is we look at self-care as that point of central focus for the month. Can we take a walk around the neighbourhood? Can we once a week at least get out of our urban environment and into some countryside or into a big public park space and enjoy that change of scenery. I'm writing in rotation at home, in my library and in the coffee shop. And by having that change of environment, I feel better having gone through that already so far in the first half of the week. Tomorrow I'll take the train into town and I'll work in my local library probably for two and a half or three hours. That will be enough for me then I will have a walk around the city and grab a train to come back home. Write in different places. 
take a walk, get some exercise. Have you got a swimming pool at the end of your street or in your neighborhood that you can just go and switch off and swim up and down, do some lanes, do some general swimming and just have that immersion literally in a new environment. NaNoWriMo, if you're committed to at least writing every day for the month, can be a great adventure. What it is not supposed to be is stressful, terrifying, socially awkward in terms of having to share your word count. If you don't want to, do not do it. It's a month in which you focus down on one piece of writing and you make it your own through that regular commitment of daily writing activity to create something that you can be happy with and proud of at the end of the month. You don't have to share it publicly if you don't want to. You don't have to put your daily word count on social media platforms or on the NaNoWriMo website. You are writing for something that means something to you in a way that you will get benefit from it emotionally and psychologically by saying, I started a project and I finished a project. That's the real value of NaNoWriMo, completing a writing task that is significant enough to be a meaningful stretch. It's not supposed to exhaust you, to demoralize you, or to drain you of your creative energy. Tomorrow, when you write, whether it's in one block or three different time blocks, bring your self-care to the center of your activity. Know that you're writing because you love writing, but reward yourself for taking part. It isn't about having to win NaNoWriMo. Like many of us as writers, I am an introvert. I will not be sharing my daily word count. I will be writing frequently. So far that's happened, but tomorrow I might not write. If I get the train into town, if I go to the library and open up my laptop and I start writing, I know I will be okay and I will get through that process. But if something gets in the way of that, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to whinge about it. I will say, okay, something else that was more important caught my attention. Manage your time this week alongside work commitments, busy family life, social engagements. Carve out little blocks of time to write. 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, an hour over here. That's a couple of hours you've created out of the day. That should be enough to write 15 or 16 or 1700 words without putting yourself under undue pressure. If you can take your project from this beginning of November through the first and the second week to a midpoint in the month and keep writing something every day, pushing those words onto paper, onto screen, to get to the end of the month and know that you have by and large created a story that you think has substance, it works, the character development is reasonable, the storyline is strong, the motivation of your protagonist and antagonists is decent, or in my case, you're writing non-fiction and you think you can create a book that readers have a real hunger for that information and that you've answered the questions in a way you've structured your chapters and the sub sections of those chapters, that's a successful month. Tomorrow, don't lose sight of the fact that NaNoWriMo is only going to happen if you look after yourself before you're writing. Wherever you are, as we move through these first days of NaNoWriMo, happy writing.